hands and a pitch, usually like you're running an option type play, and you pitch it out there to the trailing back. Goes end over end like a field yeah, goal. Yeah, where you turn it over, make sure that thumb turns down and the ball flips end over end slowly and delicately to your running back. Extra point right down the middle, and we are tied at seven. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. Jackson now to return. Now a hit and a loose football. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. Now the Buccaneers offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass rush. Maybe some guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the football. Uh, we'll see if they can disrupt it here. He had the touchdown on the opening drive. Now he's got a first down. And now the Cowboys are going to call another timeout. That's their second, so they'll have one remaining here in this second quarter. We'll be right back. Jameis now on first down. And break. The tight end's got it. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Over the middle to Evans. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Winston now to throw on first down. That's complete, right around the eight. And here he'll get it down to the seven. That throw good for four, it's second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective. And that is caught by Jackson for a Buccaneer touchdown. Deshaun Jackson with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bucs are able to strike for six.
Santos with the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to 7. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Now the Cowboys offense heads back onto the field. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got into a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first one. Looking for Cooper, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Justin Evans. And this will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. Cooper was the intended target. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Winston. This will be caught inside the 10. And they move this all the way down to the 9. So a minute 56 to play in this first half. We'll come back to Tampa after this timeout. and goal. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. He'll get six on the ground there, and it'll be second and goal coming up. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Even, even. Yes, yes, yes. Safe, safe, safe. Hey, 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 hey. Bravo. He's going to get it running right. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. A great effort there. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Buccaneers here finding a way to stretch their lead. Santos now to add the PAT. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and it's now 21 to 7.
The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And now here come the Cowboys. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people would think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, you get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. And, partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. Got an open man. It's Michael Gallup. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. 46. 46. They go play action here on first down. Wide open, Amari Cooper. A very solid gain of 27. First down now, but that clock rolling. So Amari Cooper out of Northwestern High School in Miami making a nice play there. And it's so funny that when I was going through the draft process when he came out of Alabama and was inquiring about him and his skills, they say it all began back in Miami. He really became a pro receiver at a young age because of his attention to detail and precision. But don't forget his athletic ability. That's what made that catch there. And he did spend one year with Teddy Bridgewater as his quarterback there, so that helped back in high school. Here's Prescott throwing left side here, and it's complete. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. What a methodical drive this is turning out to be. That time, nine yards, and the sticks move again. Now a play fake here on first down. And that is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. And again, it's Prescott. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Michael Gallup in the final seconds of the first half. And the Cowboys draw a bit closer. That's one of the better examples of clock management I've seen. Whittled it all the way down just about and still put the ball in the end zone. Yeah, just a methodical drive and something really to take into the lockers here. The extra point splits the uprights, and they're back with it a touchdown at 21-14. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it now. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Fielded about a yard deep. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up. And we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. A second down throw for Prescott. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. 
Nothing on the screen that time. Now it's third down. So nothing there on the screen that time. That means all that great acting they tried on offense went for naught, didn't it? Because you have to try and influence them. Make them think that you're doing something else. Make them think that they can get to the passer by letting them by and then setting up the screen and getting downfield. Didn't happen at all. Give a lot of credit to the defense for not tumbling to that one. Now on third down, that pass knocked down in the backfield and incomplete. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. They're indeed going for it. It's Prescott, and it is incomplete. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Bucs are going to take over with excellent field position to boot. Here comes the Buccaneers offense. They get their first reps of the second half. And the ledger for them so far looks pretty good, doesn't it? It certainly does. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. <laughs> Not sure it could be much better than that. They've got to feel very good about the groove that they're in at this stage of the game. The first down throw for Winston. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. I know you felt like saying touchdown there, didn't you, partner? That looked like a sure six points, but the contact jarred it free. Got his hands on it, could not hold on through the end of the play. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. on second and ten. The left side completion to Jones. And down he goes, taking it inside the ten, just shy of the five at the six. A good pick up there, a 22. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get them out in the flat and let them have a chance to make people miss an open field. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. I know every offense wants to start their snaps closer to the goal line, but it's actually harder to throw the ball in those situations. You throw into that tight coverage, you see what happens. Hard to get the ball in there. Not enough space there. Lucky maybe that it wasn't intercepted. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. They get it to him running left. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. Here's Winston. And this is caught by Jackson for a Buccaneer touchdown. Three touchdown passes now in the ball game for Jameis Winston. And the Bucs are going to add on to their lead. Now the point after try for Santos. Santos with the extra point. And the lead now up to 14. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he is out of bounds as they'll start up past the 30. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Looking for Cooper, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 38, and they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. 
How about the big boys snagging one? You don't see that every week. No, you don't, but a lot of them are just reliving their old dreams, going back to when they were in youth football and in high school. They didn't always play defensive line. Some of them actually handled the football, and you can see the flashback when he grabbed that one. First down, Winston. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Demarcus Lawrence in there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. They just do get the playoff. Now Winston. He's got his tight end over the middle, O.J. Howard. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. The Bucks on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This will be third and forever. to throw it and it's incomplete took a shot couldn't connect I guess they figure with a guy who is that hot downfield who knows how to get the ball into the end zone you throw it up and give him every opportunity even though that one fell incomplete yeah he's already been in the end zone multiple times tried to target him again deep there but unsuccessful Let's go now. How about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. Sonic. Ready. Black. From the gun, Winston. Pass the 20. And he's got a man. It's the tight end Howard complete. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. Wow, first and goal, and defensively, all they can do is shake their heads. Not only did they allow the conversion, but a big play as well. Jameis again. And that is incomplete here. When you got your backs in the shadow of your goal line, you've got to be physical in that situation because there's not a whole lot of space. Not a lot of wild plays that can be run there. That's put up or shut up time. Defensively, nice job just to make sure they didn't complete it on that play. A line of scrimmage once again, the five as they get ready for second and goal. Let's go, let's convert, let's convert, let's convert. Shift, shift. Shift, shift. Shift. White, 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 white. Check three, check three. Check five low, five low, five low. He's going to get it running right. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Third and goal, Winston. And that is caught by Jackson for a Buccaneer touchdown. Jameis Winston with his fourth touchdown pass of the afternoon. And the Buccaneers here finding a way to stretch their lead. And oh, it's 
it's no good on the PAT, so they can't add on here. And our score is going to stay right where it is. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. So that one will be accepted. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 40. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. Looking deep in the direction of Cooper. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. They have not gotten him going at all. Tried to spark something there with a longer throw. Unable to complete it. But you have to keep trying. He's one of their best playmakers. No matter what it says on the scoreboard, you're always trying to get him the football. A second down throw for Prescott. A dump off to Elliott. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Call it a gain of three. And that'll lead here to a third down. Well, it's tough to be a defender in today's NFL because there's so many things to account for in today's passing game, including the back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have that center eligible stuff, but still a lot of guys to account for. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. It's a pickup of 16 there that will lead to a new set of downs. Prescott on first down. An incomplete crisis averted. Almost picked. Instead, second down. My man's getting a little loose with the football there, right? Interception before, almost had one here. He's got to start taking better care of it. Yeah, it really should have been back-to-back -back drives with interceptions. He's lucky there. On second down, Prescott again. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. 